Hello, this is going to be your Tarot Daily Guidance Reading for April 5th, 2017. And this message, um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. It's been a busy week already for me. It's already it's not even midweek yet and I'm pretty exhausted. So I'm going to try to keep this reading short and sweet. Hope you guys all understand. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So the overall energy we have for today, we have the Fool card, which is the top um, center, middle card. So I'm getting this energy. It's a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation, I'm getting like anxiousness. Almost like off the wall, like hyper excited, really antsy about something and I don't know if it's just energy wise or you you actually know what it is that you're anticipating and waiting for, but it's something that's going to, I don't know, I'm getting it holds the key. I'm hearing the word key. So it's like it, it holds the key to something. Um, you're very excited about this new beginning or this new opening. Rather, the key can represent an opening of doors. So a new beginning or opportunity that you're waiting on. It could be, it could mean a multiple of things. So the challenge within this energy today, you have the nine of pentacles. So with the nine of pentacles being the challenge, I feel like you need to enjoy what is right now. And I'm getting to have patience right now with yourself for this energy. Don't get too, too excited or don't get yourself all worked up. And it's not that it's for nothing that you shouldn't have a reason to be excited or anxious or anticipating a new beginning or a new life or a start over, or if it's something specific, a situation, whatever it is for you. But Spirit's telling you to enjoy the energy right now. Like, don't get too caught up into the future, okay? Because that could be a part of the antsy energy or the um, anxiousness that you're feeling, this excitement excited energy which is a good thing to be in that that space keep up that momentum but i feel like spirit is telling you to tone it down a bit by having a little bit of patience and being practical and focusing on the present and what good things are happening right now the fact that you're in a good space right now that you are blessed right now see just how well things are for you as far as your health as far as how much you've grown evolved how your life has changed I feel like all of that is to be noted at this time with your suggested approach you have the two of pentacles so again finding that balance not getting too worked up too excited too focused on the future where you're forgetting about your blessings in the here and the now or if you have things that you, that you need to focus on such as priorities and you might be putting those to the side because you're too excited about this vacation or this new job or um, I just feel like something is coming I can't really express it I don't really know but I'm excited and it's kind of like you just you get too much up in the air and you're not grounded so I feel like Spirit's telling you to find a balance between this excitement and this anticipation between the here and the now and not to focus on the future or what could be okay so focus you have seven of wands so where your focus needs to be that's going to help you today the seven of wands i feel like you do have still some work to do um getting that you you still need to push forward that the job is not done there's still something some sort of effort that's needed on your behalf before this could really Getting before it gets the ball rolling, rolling, sorry, or to solidify something. I feel like spirit's guiding you to make some more efforts. It's like you're being pushed and encouraged. So I'm getting like the focus is that you have, you have a role to play or you have, it's like your turn to make some type of move or some sort of effort or to persevere at this point. Okay. With the outcome, you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you will complete the task that's given to you um, with the Seven of Wands as your focus. With the number seven, it's the number of divinity. 
um, divine spirit, God, higher power, the universe, power, warnings, um, insight, the crown chakras. I feel like if you follow your divine guidance and you do what it is that you're being encouraged to do or make the efforts that you're being guided, um, doing the efforts or taking some sort of action that you're being guided to take, at the end of all of this, you will complete these tasks. Like you do have to push through this. You do have to persevere. You can't really sit back. You can't daydream. You can't just wait for things to fall in your lap. It's like there is something required of you at this time. On an energetic level, I don't feel like it's really too much that you have to do physically. You, It could possibly be something that requires your physical activity. But I feel like this is an energy that you need to keep strong and keep moving and keep being optimistic. Okay. All right. So the romance angels, let's see what messages they have for us in the matters of the heart. So you have keep an open mind. And it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I'm getting that when it comes to something in the matters of the heart, it could be a person. I'm getting that this is an energy that you're not used to. This is going to require you to step out of your comfort zone. The situations that you'll be moving into, the new life, the new people that you'll be meeting. Um, if you already have someone in your life, I feel like people are going to not i'm hearing take the mask off but i'm getting like that's a symbol for being who they truly are or you seeing people for what and who they really are and that could be either a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you perceive it okay um so if it's that you're seeing that people are not really who you thought they were and it disappoints you take that as not as a disappointment but as a good thing that you can move on and you can move forward and you can cut your losses with these people in your life. If you start to meet people that are different than what you've expected or what you experienced in the past, give them the benefit of the doubt and trust in the energy. See where it goes. Don't judge right off the bat because you're not used to it. I'm getting to use your past as a contrast between you know, this person's different. They're not my usual type of person I would date or type of friend I would take on. Or this isn't usually the type of job or this type of hobby I would be into. But for some reason, I feel called to it. I do enjoy it. I do like it. I do like them. I do enjoy their company. But I'm getting that you need to use your past. Like, okay, so this was always my type and it never worked. This type of friendship or these type of friends that I was surrounding myself with they never had my best interest or this type of type of person that I always wanted to date or I've always been used to dating. It hasn't worked out for me. So God is trying to lead you or the universe, the spirit is trying to lead you to something new. But at the same time, it's what you need. I feel like it's for your highest good. You're being guided to have a leap of faith or take a leap of faith. Take a risk. Step out of your comfort zone. Have fun. Be playful, especially with the full card. Then the messages that you have from the angel gods and goddesses deck, you have angel of abundance. It says a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. So this is a good energy. This is a good opening. This is a good time, a new beginning that's abundant, that is blessed, that is working in your favor. It's full of positive energy. It's full of passion. It's full of life. I'm just getting like this, this energy that you're just energized or revitalized it's it's like the sun energy it's you sense it and you feel it and it's like you know it deep down inside that you're moving into a better time in your life or a better cycle this season in your life is a turnaround for you but I feel like some of you you know there's an anxiousness to get there and you want to get there and I feel like spirit's telling you to hold on to that but don't get too caught up where you're not focused on the here and the now and you're not seeing the port importance of where you are and and why you've had how you've gotten here and why you've had to get to go through the things that you've had to go through to get to this point or why you've had to deal with this person or these people and you have to look at everything and appreciate it and be grateful and thankful for where you currently are because it's all for 
your highest good and for a divine purpose. Okay, so that's your reading for Wednesday, April 5th, 2017. I do hope you've enjoyed this reading and that it gives you much clarity and insight. And as always, I'm sending you much love and until tomorrow, peace.